Hey guys and welcome to a short little video about Meshtastic and an uh, off-grid note basically. These days there are quite a lot of builds on YouTube and I just thought uh, I also got into Meshtastic recently and I thought I would share mine too. It's definitely not the smallest one, it's definitely a bit of a chonker. So yeah, but it should be quite sustainable out there for a long time, working on its own. But yeah, I didn't test it yet outside, I just built it and I just thought I would like to share the build before I basically mount it somewhere out there. So what do we have here? We have a 10 watt, uh, 12 volt solar panel here. Uh, we got a 3 dbi fiberglass antenna here um, from AliExpress. I didn't test it yet. Uh, definitely better than the stock ones that come with the T-beam or the rack devices out there. And what do we have here on the back? Let me just put the little case here aside. Uh, on the back we've got a standard mount for the solar panel basically, so you can mount it to a pole or a tree. And I also designed and 3D printed this little antenna stand, so in case it's a bit elevated. And coming to the back of the device in this little uh, watertight hobby box, um, we've got basically the solar coming into it here. We've got the antenna connector coming into it here, into a little T-beam. Um, this T-beam is here just plugged in with a normal USB cable. And we also got a little antenna cable here coming in. This little case here I designed and printed myself too. I, if you want, I can put the file into the uh, description. It's just neat for mounting it somewhere. I uh, just stuck to this velcro tape because it's easy to stick on and stick off and yeah if I need to do something I can just take it out and don't need to remove any screws and it's, for its purpose it holds quite tight in there it's not gonna fly around here it's not like you're gonna mount this on a car or something <laughs> I don't think so so and the other part here is a solar power manager it got a little solar charge controller in here and three 18650 batteries and it basically just keeps it all charged and yeah should work quite fine you can also get these ones from amazon i think and from aliexpress too they are not not expensive yeah this is basically it this is this little off-grid note i will put it out now and i will keep you updated how it behaves out there thanks for watching and see you later